Hello everybody, Captain Thief back with more desktop dungeons. I've been thinking on it. I've been thinking on it. And I think I want to do this the right way. And by the right way, I mean however the heck I want. Yes, it's overused, but hey, that Nantar's word, I dare say that's a little even more broken. Let's just go with the balanced dagger. We're going to try and save as much resources for the end as possible. We're going to use a Shadden for it because I want to win. Uh, reflex or can of whoop as I don't know. I really don't know. We'll just leave it as it is, I guess. Um, we'll just we'll just we'll just say that's good. I'm thinking about prepping Jahora because that actually sounds like a good idea. We're gonna have one less inventory spot, but on the other hand, we're gonna have one more hope spot. Yeah, yeah. Compression seal. Yeah, that's for our inventory woes right there. I'm not gonna even take a Slayer one this time. I'm just not. Bet on the. I'm gonna bet on myself. Well, actually, I might want more money. Uh, actually, I think I like the Smuggler then. And uh, nothing else that I can think of. Actually, yeah, we're good. We're good. And uh, I can take the Dragon Soul. Oh no, that takes place in my Balance Dagger. That's if I want to replace the Fabulous Treasure with it or something. Fabulous treasure, by the way, is a really nice way of taking lots of money in with you. You prep it, then you prep the uh, translocation, no, the uh, transmutation seal, turn it into 95 gold, and then you just start off the uh, level with tons of money. Tons of money. Um, you know, take a shop scroll, whatever. All right, let's get on into this. Let's go with Jehora as soon as we can. Um, there he is. He's always with his piety is always within reach at the start. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off by not recycling this yet. Let's find an enemy first, so we can take off something that bothers me about them. We'll go ahead and grab bees, I guess. Let's find an enemy. That's what I want. Oh, a wraith? I didn't see those in the first one. I think the enemies might be a little random. Randomized. Uh, we'll go ahead and warp you just to start earning piety. Oh, this wanna fight. That sounds so good. We'll hang on to it. I'll hang on to it, and there's a really good reason why I'm hanging on to it. You have to have your wait what and the wanna fight if you want to get a certain bard to join your cause or something. But then how do you leave? I don't know how you leave. Okay, we'll we'll talk about leaving later. Um, and we'll I'll show you why it's so great. Ah, uh, that, that's some good piety right there. Um, can we find a level two? I don't have this wicked guitar thing anymore, so I need some help with that. I don't have the Dragon Soul either. Oh, hey, the Burn Dress. I need that. I gotta have that. Okay, we're gonna move you out of the way. Uh, this so far is not great. Martyr Wraps. Oh, I don't like the idea of getting mana burnt. Jahora, stop, stop punishing me. Alright? Could you, could you stop doing that? Okay, just move you out of the way. That was just a bunch of darkness. Um... Actually, maybe we can get rid of the mana burning. Let me try that. I'm gonna try that. Uh, gotta be smart about this. So we'll pick you up. We'll go over here. We will recycle the weight what right on their faces. Hit them both. Uh, this guy no longer mana burns. All right. Thank you, Musical Q, for showing me how uh, important that was. Go ahead and grab two here. All right. Um. We'll double burn him. Yes. Yes, okay. I'm kind of getting used to the idea of Magician. Kind of. It's kind of hard if you don't have a lot of glyphs to uh, recycle. Um, let's put this down. Oh, right, I have a uh, Balanced Dagger. What, what am I doing? Let me uh, smack somebody just to get things ready. Um, I don't see anybody I'm <laughs> I feel comfortable hitting, so... Uh, We'll just go ahead and uh, get 2 MP, burn somebody. That's what we'll do. And then uh, smack you. Alright, level 2. Oh hey, I can just use the one fight. What am I even thinking? I don't know. Let's just go ahead and pull them in. Pull them in. Uh, we just got enough for petition. So now he's not going to you know, attack us as much anymore. I bet I can just burn this guy in one hit. Uh, what was that? Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay. Thanks, Jahora. Greatly appreciated. 
or something. Can I burn you in one hit? Yeah. And so I did. Okay. I don't have any problem with this because I lost already, alright? And I am a sore loser. Well, you can't be a sore loser without being a loser. Shush. Just shush. All of you shush. Can I kill you in one hit? Kind of. Kind of. So let's go ahead and do that. Ready for me. Okay. Um, are there more level 3s? I kind of want to pull in all of my level 3 bros. You're hitting me for... Oh, because I'm corroded once. Jahora, you made this fight just a little bit more hard to deal with, alright? I just want to point that out. Um, smack him. Burn him. I mean, burn him, smack him, whichever. No, I'm not even going to touch you this time. In fact, I didn't even want to uncover you. That's how annoyed I am with your face. Okay, let's pull in some more level 3s. Oh, hello. I like the idea of, you know, killing him. Okay, uh, yeah. And one fell swoop. No longer poison. What are you going to do about that, Jahora? Well, I want to get your fancy mana boost. That's what I want to get. Okay. What am I thinking? Um, I'm thinking Arby's. I want to... If nothing else, I'm going to set up some popcorn. Popcorn, by the way, is when I pull in level 1 enemies and slow them so they give you plus 1 EXP and they're just something to sit there while you uh, kill everybody else. And then once you really need it, you can uh, pull off good stuff. That's not, that's not doing enough damage. Let's pull you in over here. And now we can probably burn you in one full swoop, right? Well, no, but close enough. Hooray for level four. So also, I have one to fight. Why aren't I using that? What I could really use right now is... Uh... No, I think I'm just going to... Oh, wait, he's going to make some enemies. No, wait, that's somebody else. That's the sculptor guy. Yeah, the Undying Sculptor. I think we can just kill him. He'll warp us around or something. I, oh, I'm not fine with that. 13 damage. And if I grab these two, I'll be fine. He won't. He'll he, he'll try and blink, but he'll die. So, hooray. Oh, right. Why aren't I doing this? Uh, this and this. Both of them are very good for the piety spent. Also, there's no way for me to pee off Jahora, so I'm fine with having zero piety. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Um, Bin Lore, that's right. Okay, so. Let's pull in some more low. Oh, right, you. You know, I don't care if I get cursed. Whatever. And then I'll just put them on the other side. You know, it's only when they're slowed. It's not like you have to use. Wait, what? It's not like you have to use. Wait, what does? Pull in a level 5. Uh, uh, I don't know what I want out of this. Um, let's just burn him now. Okay, pulling on level, another level 5. Ooh, what's that looking like? Can I get him in one go? Oh, I can, it's beautiful. I can, and it's beautiful. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Um, Wicked Guitar. Ah, jeez. I kind of don't want that this time. I'll think about it. I'll think about it, but I'm not really leaning that direction this time. Um, you will make an enemy, and as soon as I hit you, he's going to warp me somewhere, somewhere on the map. Let's just go ahead and do it. Oh, there I am. Uh, let's go ahead and take you out. He reposts, which means that even if I go first, he gets a hit on an enemy or something like that. Arcane Golem, and you. Let's go ahead and take him out. Why am I doing like a little speck of extra damage there? I don't know. I don't care either. Let's see. I don't like the, the things that the uh, Undying Sculptor spawn, by the way, because then there's enemies all over the place. But then that's also kind of a good thing because, well, then I can kill things when we, when we hit him. By the way, we don't want to hit him yet because he'll turn everybody into no EXP. If there's one thing you didn't learn yet from last episode, it's that. That was not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Um, just pull you in. <laughs> I'm enjoying the slowing. Okay, if we want another one of these, we're going to get have to get more stuff. But I'm thinking about just going for the Chaos Avatar. 
That sounds like a good idea to me. Heck, I might actually want to go with something along these lines. Something that will help. Every time you convert an item, get more conversion points. That sounds all right. Every time you take damage, you get uh, plus one resistance. That sounds all right too, but then we're gonna, not going to have any piety if we go with any one of these. Every time you drink a health or a mana potion, you get some EXP and it costs piety. I'm, I might go with that. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning toward Chaos Avatar because that just levels me up and uh, reduces all the enemy resistances and gets me conversion points and removes all my debuffs. I kind of like that. It's probably not as effective as going with something along these lines, but, um, well, hey, it's, it's something. Okay, we're still level 6. Um, what if I just makes this too easy? But I'm not complaining. You know, if there was a time to complain, it was back when the game shorted me of my victory because I forgot that I wasn't supposed to hit this guy. Also, his attack gets much and much more devastating. He starts at 75, and at the end there, he was doing 126 naturally, not with Berserk or anything. Um, what, what am I pulling in now? Level 5s. Yeah, okay. Hooray. Um, if I burn you twice, I think I can still pull this off. Uh, let's just kill him already. Pulling on level, another level 7. Ooh, a curse bearer. See, that's why I didn't really go for that resistance one, because there's curses all over the place here, guys. Um, how many hits do I need? Oh, I need a few more hits here. Okay, that's looking better. Smack, smack, burn, I win. And there we go. Cool. And we still have so much of the map left. Hi. Let's go ahead and put him... Well, you know what? In case we start drinking blood at some point, let's stop putting all the blood in one place. That sounds like an idea to me. Okay. So if I hit you... Oh, wait. Let's, uh... Okay, we're done pulling in level 7s because I just pulled in level 2. That's fine with me. I hope it's fine with you. So we'll pull him in for that extra ranch flavored dipping sauce. And, um, you know, that's the bad thing, though, is that they make golems that are harder than, um... I mean, they're, they're, they make golems the same level as what they were, and this guy is level 7. I don't really like the idea of killing him just to take off, retaliate fireball off that guy. So, we're probably not going to do that. In fact, what I want to do is I want to get to level 10 so I can just uh, want to fight this guy to take off that retaliate fireball. I think that's an idea. I think that's a possibility. I'm going to pick up all the uh, mana potions and health potions in case somebody lands on top of them. That just sounds like a good idea to me. All right, let's try and keep as much popcorn as we can to take off a fireball in case I want to do it that way. But honestly, I want to get with the heavy fireballs thing. Also, I wonder, does heavy fireballs stack with um, heavy fireballs? <laughs> and um, wait, how do I get heavy fireball? That's the uh, the book, that one book that gives you a book of heavy fireball or something like that. I forgot what it's even called. It's been a while, okay? Tell you what I'll do. Oh. Well, I guess I can just kill him. Might as well do that. And it's giving me piety. I can't complain. Even when he's slowed, he gets a repost. That's bad. Bad for business. Um, we might go with the mage plate, actually. That's five more extra max MP. I need as much max MP as I can. I'm not going to be attacking this guy regularly, alright? That's just not a thing that's going to happen. Okay, and I have our Schadenfreude. We're going to buy a second one, too. That'll be great. Don't even get started on the uh, boss until we're ready. And don't even try to set up a level up catapult unless we have some sort of special thing going for it, like this Alchemist pack. That might be what I'll do. That might indeed might be what I'll do. Alright, so we're level 7. I just want to level up, so... Let's maybe pull in this level 4 or something. No, that's not the level 4. No, that's not the level 4. It's pulling in the, all the non-magic resistant ones first, by the way. That's uh, that's kind of how this one fight uh, priority works. There he is. Okay, so I can just kill him and level up now. Hooray for me. 
All right, so I want to work on a level eight, I think. Yeah, so I can just do a little bit. Um, uh, he's doing 52, so I just want two squares. I got two squares up there. Then I can hit him again, and uh, yeah, I think I can get this to work. Okay, so we'll grab these. We'll come back down, smack him again. I don't know, burn him or something? Uh, actually, I'm feeling fairly safe with my physical attack being able to kill him. So we'll burn somebody else, not you. You. Yes. Then we'll finish this guy off. Level up catapults, hooray. Um. If I, if I pull him in with one of five guys, it's just not going to work. It's going to pull him in first. So, and there should be like three level... Well, actually, yeah, the typical level distribution is that there's three level threes, or three level eights. So I'll pull him in, I'll pull him in, and then I'll have a chance at pulling him in. I don't like the odds. I just don't. I just don't. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and... Um, Pull these guys in over here. Cool. Oh, nice. You're killing me. Um, what if I fireball you? He's still killing me. But uh, something. They're not really heavy fireballs because the I'm not putting two stacks of burn on them or anything. Uh, let's just go ahead and kill him. Yeah, that's a lot of waste of health. But I don't know if you noticed or not. I'm not really using my health. It's mostly mana. I want... Uh, that one glyph that eats up my health and gives me mana. That's one thing I really like. So orb, mana burn immunity could really help. Um, what's funny is that these guys look undead, but they're not undead. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, ooh. Uh, it pulled that guy in instead. Oh, that's fine. I'm not gonna complain. Um, I think I can take you on. Do you bleed? I think he bleed. He bled. He bleeded. He blew. Did do do Um. What else am I looking at? I gotta leave no witnesses. By the way, I, I can't forget to not do that. Martyr wraps. We'll talk about you, martyr wraps. Soul orb. There's not a lot of things that may have burned down here. I'm not worried about that. Oh, hello. Um. I can just move you out of the way. It's an expensive one to fight, but you know, I can just do that. Um, we're going to boost our mana one more time. I think it, that's barely at the point where it's worth it, but it's worth it. Any more is not worth it. See, so 65, or 70 piety right there for that last one. No thanks. And it uses one more mana potion. Not going to happen. Okay. I'm eating all my twos. In fact, I'm leaving myself just fours left. That's even well. Here's a one, a one plus however many I want. So that's that's all right. Let's not even like slow him or anything. That's that's not what we're gonna do. Let's try and leave as much popcorn as we can. In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll try and kill this undying sculptor down here because I want lots of space for when he summons enemies, and we'll level up through this method. Actually, I can just burn... Oh! You retaliates fireball. Well, alright. Aren't you special? Um... Smack him once. Pull him in. Kill him. Alright. That's good. Any more level 9s? Oh yeah, this guy. Ow, you hurt. You hurt so much. Uh, but this will... This will, this will do you in. Uh, what... What was that? Oh, I tried to pull in this level 2. Okay. That's fine. We're going to get enough fighting to uh, get our ultimate um, death swing here. And uh, he's slowed. We'll smack him. Pull him in. No, we'll, we'll burn him. Pull him in. And I can just hit him, so I don't need to use up this mana. Okay, that works. Pendant of mana. I like it. I like the cost of it. I just don't like the inventory it uses. You know? We haven't found the uh, apothecary yet either. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pull in. Correction. I'll try to pull in some enemies, some popcorns, if you will. Ah, get in there. That would be nice. 
I think I've killed a lot of the, or pretty much all the little high levels, so it's just uh, this guy and the popcorn left. So at this point, all we need to really think about is, can we get to level 10 or not? Off of what's left. And the answer is, I don't know. Uh-huh. I think we're just going to kill some of the popcorn that refuses to obey. Oh, hello. This is, uh, this is the thing. Um, this guy's going to let us, uh, try something. I can't, I can't really remember what's going on. Here we go. We've got, we already got a semi-volunteer and go, test golem ready for your inferno-based justice. Go show him what, go show him what for. Just, uh, wait a moment while I get myself out of the way and you're not too queasy for uh, about a few minor burns, right? Okay, so, if I remember right, this is going to take off all of our health. So, uh, we gotta be careful about that. I think it's gonna burn us down to 1 HP left. So what I would like to do is find like, I don't know, something that's gonna weaken us a bit. Right. Wand of Explosion. What does it do? A burned rise wand, apparently. Point at your target, let it do the rest, though. It takes, or it looks rather unstable. I think I get like, a lot of potions out of this or something. Well, let's just use it now because I'm getting all my magic back. Oh dear, that probably wasn't meant to happen. Now this guy is invincible. And he goes, ha ha, etc. But it's worth it because potions, guys. Potions are a big deal. All right. Uh, um, I kind of don't like the idea that we don't have any uh, darkness left for this fight. But that's fine. That's fine. It's fine and dandy. Um. We have 29 EXP left to go to level up. I don't see any high level enemies or anything of that sort of nature. Um, we might just buy this, but then we won't have a, a space to convert glyphs. And I really want to convert glyphs. Hmm. Just thinking. Well, if we're going to do this, we're going to start off by uh, moving him up here. We'll get all our magic back. Oh, that was the last of the darkness. Which makes the poison thing kind of worthless. Kind of. What's on here? Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting about that. Well, it doesn't make the poison thing too worthless, then, does it? Okay, can we poison him without him doing anything? Yeah. Totally. Yeah, alright, so 27 tiles, I feel like that's the amount that we're looking at. Um, we're going to go ahead and just get started on this. Cool. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, it's because he hasn't been attacked while not slowed yet. That's what's going on. Let's go ahead and grab this too. So as soon as that happens, that will be a thing that happens. Um, in fact, we can just keep him permanently slowed. By doing this. Yeah, alright, cool. Cool beans for us. Um, now what? <laughs> I don't know. I can smack him, but that's not really... It's going to make him smack me back. We might as well do that. Cool. And um, that even took off the burning, so that's cool. Uh, we're going to... We're going to save the uh, poison for after we've leveled up. Because then we'll get more out of it, I think. Let's go ahead and Chaos Avatar now. Hooray for being leveled up. Oh, the Wanna Fight will work on him now. I think. I want to say that's a thing. Um, if we Wanna Fight, we don't want to like do it here. or We want to be careful about where we do it because he'll block off the area or something. Though this place is pretty open, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So there's really no reason to keep these guys for EXP anymore. So they're just going to be popcorn to take off the... Uh, the whatever the stuff let's see let's pull him in with one fight uh okay maybe it's just when we get him below 75 percent i don't know sickly light green emblem etc you you saw it last episode if you didn't see it last episode that's not my issue <laughs> i'm such a jerk i'm sorry uh let's also convert any glyphs we don't really need right we should be doing that yeah we're going to be doing that. Get in there. Uh, that's good. He still has all his poison on. That's nice. 
Uh, any more glyphs that we don't really care about? Uh, help me, I love you in most situations, but this one, you're more helpful like this. Okay, and now we'll just um, burn him again. Cool. So he's got Retaliate Fireball on. If you weren't watching last episode, you can just kill a level 1 or anybody, really. And it didn't do the thing. Uh, let me try that again. There it goes. So he gets stuff taken off that way. Uh, let's use our uh, poison, because he's poisoned to the max, guys. Oh, these guys still give you XP. That's nice of them. It's quite nice of them. Um, he's hitting way too hard for us to really consider doing anything with our lives. Let's go back down there. Um, if I kill him, does it do the thing? I didn't see the shields leaving him, or whatever on earth you would call that. So I'm going to say, no, not really. I'm going to kill you just to get access to that sweet, sweet dark space right there. Okay. Um, need to slow this guy down a bit. Can I use one fight? Yeah, I can use one fight. Why wouldn't someone think I can use one fight? He's getting harder and harder. It's like his berserk is worse and worse. Um, let's see. I actually want him to hit me. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Shadenford. He has your tight fireball, but you know what? I'm fine with that because... Boom. There's all my MP. And he blinks. Stop blinking. Don't appreciate it. Pull him in one last time and finish him off. Alright. All done. We're all done here, right? We're nice and... Ah. Sorry. Choking to death on something. We're nice and good to go on this, right? No. Leave no witnesses. Uh, any witnesses? Down? I really hope that doesn't count as a witness. Fair not in any case. Not even giving any XP. Come on, guys. And I don't see a message pop up, though it's not like it has to if it if there exists one. Um, I think this might be a secret area. Um, here's what I'm thinking about doing. Let me see here. I can get stone skin, stone heart, stone fist. Stone soup. Oh, there's in this wall. Okay, so... I want to make sure that there's not an enemy in this black space. I'm fairly certain there won't be, but won't I look stupid if it turns out there was? So what I can do is I can go to this guy, use consensus, get to 50 piety, convert to Ben Lore, have 25 left, then I just need to get 10 piety left for uh, my purposes. Um... But I have to break walls to make him happy. And I can't get to this party here. Another option is I'll have 25 and I can use this stone heart which destroys 15 nearby walls. So it should get rid of like this one on the first go. And then these on the second go. I think that'll work. We'll, do, we'll try that. Consensus. Convert. Double down. Oh. Barely didn't work. Um, let me check my menu real quick. Do 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 do. Gods. Benlore likes it when I destroy walls. Likes it when I use biceps. I don't have biceps. Biceps didn't even drop this time. Um. Oh. Okay. Now I just need two more piety. Okay, now I just need one more piety. Ah, uh, this is, this is, uh quite fun, isn't it? Um, Benlor, could you uh, give me this stone heart anyway and I can pay you back later? That's my question. Mmm, not really. Okay. Um, geez, just one more and I think this would do it. Just to make sure there's not an enemy back there, but I think, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. What was down here again? Oh yeah, you. Let's just go on and go ahead and get on out of here one one pie away. We'll see what happens. Alright. Cool. 365. Did I bet on boss? No, I did not. Cheeky, of course. Um This is technically a new map, I guess. Let's have a look. Let's see what we got out of this. Quest complete dumpster diving. 
To your surprise, there were a lot of new magical curiosities at the old dumping ground, along with some unusual, but still hostile, golems. After showing off your haul to the remains of the expedition team, she suggests they might come from a well-hidden workshop that she spotted on the prematurely ended trip. Uh, oh, to the remains of the expedition team. I was like, how does a team get one singular person's pronoun? Whatever. Reward, a new dungeon, and 750 gold. That's good. That's good. Let's have a look at that. Trophy sold. Of course. Even more money. Quest unlocked. No handlebars. There are a few small towns scattered throughout the north, and it has been deemed lucrative to try to establish a rent a Hebrew service. Unfortunately, the first envoy sent accidentally insulted the chieftain's mother, and negotiations have stopped. Hopefully, showing off your hero's power can clinch the deal. Send one kick-ass hero to the workshop and impress everyone by getting six badges in one run. I kind of like that idea, actually. Supply chain analysis. The financiomancers insist that they can find the top dog innovating golem firm if supply-side data is procured. You hope the tinkers understand what this means. Unfortunately, the finance instruments are magic-sensitive, so no glyphs are allowed to avoid inducing a cascading recessionary pattern. Have your tinkers get, have your tinkers get financial data, or data from the hidden workshop without ruining the economy by using magic. Uh, where do you want us to go with this? Top dog innovating golem firm if supply side data is procured. Uh, I want that in English. Guys, I have a degree in finance and I didn't understand that. So, well done. Um, where's the junkyard? Uh, okay, so if we want to go to ancient scrapyard, we just click this little thing here. Yes, okay, so we get magician and goat person. Cool. Cool beans. Very cool beans. Um, what else am I doing? Alright, so we just gotta beat that. Oh, 2,000 gold, and we get another dungeon. And uh, I wonder what the, the, uh, what's the word? Gimmick for this uh, new area is. I don't know. We'll discover that next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been Captain Thief playing Desktop Dungeons Extreme Edition Part 2. I will see you guys in the next one. It's a little more difficult, but a little more fun. See you then.